the high mileage to keep in the car. Yeah. We've seen an average uh, car go from anywhere between 80 to 90,000 miles, now over 100, 150,000. Many hoping to ride out this tidal wave of demands, like Nick. I wish I could afford a minivan right now with a lot less mileage. When the road to ownership is a little smoother. Sam Brock, NBC News, Miami. Yep, those vehicles I getting know. pricey like everything mm -hmm. else. I'm not getting a new car till mine's <laughs> died. Yeah. yeah, ditto. Good wow. and gone. I can't even <laughs> keep up with the regular maintenance of my car. It's like, is it going to last that long? Probably yeah. not. <laughs> I don't take care of it. My oil light has been on for a good two weeks now, so I got to get on that before good I reminder. Ooh, I'm gonna, my engine out. I'm going to one-up you. It's been a... Possibly a couple months. No. Ooh, yeah. you're, you're, oh. I know you're thinking like that's disaster <laughs> waiting to off. happen, right? <laughs> you're not well. I was lying. My husband a couple months too. <laughs> okay. That's why I'm laughing. You guys, but, see, if I we know, don't pay attention, it's terrible. It's, our cars are not going to last is that long. No. <laughs> I know. The, it's not going to make it to 150 miles, much less 200,000. We'll Jesus. be carpooling. I literally <laughs> read the manual and I put dates in my calendar with alarms like to keep up with you stuff. You would. Oh. Yes. And we that's believe because that. it has a little light that tells mm -hmm. you change the oil I know. soon. I, I don't see oil. it. I mean, there's a line, but <laughs> I don't read it. And I'm driving. I can't <laughs> be distracted. I'm bad at guessing up, though. I wait till last minute. Oh, I'm kind of like that's that. another yeah. thing. My parents would get after me. It's like, why do you wait till the very last minute? Why <laughs> do you wait for the, the, the needle hits the E? You need to, you yeah. know, like right. yeah. halfway know. through, you need to fill it back up. I'm yeah. like, oh. But you know just how far you can go. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. you know your car. You're like, uh, I have Two to have at miles. least 10 more miles. <laughs> yeah. We'll make it. We'll make it. Yeah. <laughs> well, your time now is 6 in the morning, so if you are planning to gas up yeah. this morning on your commute, you know, you <laughs> should probably get going right now. now. Don't wait till the last minute. I, it happened to me once. Oh, no. Where I was actually just leaving the mm -hmm. station here, and, uh, I was living in Brownsville <laughs> at the time. Somebody from, I think our social media guru at that time had to come rescue me. <laughs> right on the high, yeah, I was like, I'm oh, almost man. at the gas station and then <laughs> it stopped. Oh That's my horrible. God. It was terrible. It stopped literally? Like my car stopped, you know, even if you oh press the God. gas, it there's no more gas, it wouldn't go. Yes. So I'm like, uh, oh, Channel wow. 4 peeps, can you come uh, rescue me? <laughs> we got your back if that happens. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. You have our backs. Nice. We're a team. So I learned my lesson after that. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Don't push it too much. Yeah. Scary. Mm, true. <laughs> anyway, well, hopefully gears. we're learning our lesson and preparing for hurricane season. Because that is true. Because we're seeing those showers and just the severe weather lately. Right. Mm -hmm. And that's always an important mm -hmm. reminder to always remain gas up mm -hmm. as we head closer to hurricane true. season. Because you just never know with yeah. this, the weather that it could, you know, bring some severe weather that could leave those gas stations inoperable there. So mm -hmm. definitely stay gassed as if you're heading out and about there. So here's a look right now from South Padre Island.